Soldiers should be brave and strong and believe what they fight for. At the end, we were just a bunch of scared little kids. Sam, you're safe with us now. Dad, you know I grew up here, but... You don't ever have to go to the front ever again. This is your home. So much has changed. Dad, I've changed. You'll always be my little girl. It takes more than a cyber heart to change that. Next time on Evers After. In the fourth war, we lost most of Black 18 when the Southern Front collapsed. Meanwhile, I lost my heart and my squad. I rebuilt my heart. But it would take more than a pile of rough scrap to replace Boomer, Jersey, Chuckos, Teppy, Sonny, and the rest. Now that I've found a way back home, I don't recognize the place. Recalling my first steps back on American Lane, I think I know why. Home is where your heart is. I left mine on the oil fields and watched it burn. You, you're Samantha Evers, aren't you? Who's asking? You don't recognize me? Both of my boys are gone, and now you, you don't even care. You're completely... Heartless? Not for a couple months, at least. What's this letter, Dad? Unwrap it. You mean Gurry Mason, son of the sheriff? Why did they say he's watching us? That's his job now, Sam. He took over when his father left us. He does it for the neighborhood to keep us safe. What's this letter, Dad? Unwrap it. There's a letter inside? It was delivered after you left, in the mailbox the very next day. I kept it for you all this time. She said to tell you it was her first letter she officially delivered. It says it's from Tef. Before she left for her post post. Next time on Evers After. Tef's first letter. I made her promise that summer. Snow, sleet, and an early dispatch order couldn't keep her away. I read the letter in our old clubhouse. She said she wished me well, wished we could have said goodbye. I came back to find my home, but it seems like all I'm finding is regrets. It's for my heart, Bulp. I have to keep my blood circulation active. This will kill Dad if he finds out. Maybe you should have thought about that before you came back. Like this. It's not what you think. I lost you down a foxhole once, and now I'm losing you down a needle too? You gonna bring Mom back this time, Sam? Bulb! You know what? Don't even waste your breath lying about how hard you tried. You're my brother. She's my mom too. Of course I looked for her. Don't talk about the front like you were there. I feel like we let her down. Like we're the ones who left her. Dad, you know that's not true. She left us. She even took Mom's old rifle when she ran off to the Moss Wars. We rode her off, Bolt, just like we did her mother. Before they even delivered the flowers. How could we? <gasps> Samantha, we didn't hear you. I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. Next time on Evers After. They say you can't go home again. So I guess you can't leave it behind either. I found out the hard way. Between the front and 809 American Lane, I was running out of homes. Thinking back to my childhood on the block, to better times, the neighborhood seemed so alive. There was mom, dad, and Bulp. 809, we had a tire swing in the front yard everyone was always swinging on. Across the street was old Miss Picklesworth, who made the most fantastic brownies. Gurry and his father, the sheriff, lived in a severe old ranch style at 811. Teff and her family at 807. Her brothers and sisters were older, but Teff and I were fast friends as far back as I can remember. But that was before we knew about the war. Before all our lives changed forever. It doesn't feel real to be leaving again, but... Like they say, you can't leave home again. Dad, I didn't know you were still awake. Put the gun back, Samma. 
Are you bringing mom back, sis? Where will you go? I don't know. Anywhere but the front, please. Sam, please promise me, don't follow your mother. You know you're welcome at home, Sam. There's no need to go through all this trouble. I know, Dad. But don't you think I'm a little old for princess curtains and a single bed? It was good enough for you when you were 12. Dad, I just need a little time to clear my head and space to stretch my legs. I thought it was cozy with you and Bullpure. Well, if you're sure, make time to visit. I'm just next door. Dad, I think I'm gonna like it here. Tuff's old house holds some good memories. Next time on Evers After. What's the next best thing to your childhood home? Moving in to the house next door. Reminiscing was nice, but I was ready to get accustomed to this new version of the neighborhood. So imagine my surprise when the girl next door came knocking. Mom? Mom? Mom, I'm back from wartime! Wait, Sam? Tef? Is that really? You're supposed to be stationed with a postal corp. Gurry. I didn't know you'd returned from wartime. You'd know if you'd been there. Some of you never returns. Thought I'd bring a housewarming gift over. That's very thoughtful. A thought and also a warning. Was it worth it? Sometimes I wonder what good we did out there, Tef. We've lost so much. And so many good people. I'm not sure we'll know. It's like we're right back where we started. At least we're home. Well, I'm home. You need to find a place to stay, and it's not going to be my couch, Missy. <laughs> Next time on Evers After. Showers of hot water and not bullets. Trenches replaced by drainage ditches. Barbed wire with white picket fences. This didn't feel like home. But for the first time in years, it felt normal. Something to cheer you up, Sam. I don't get it. What's this? A key? To the old petting coat place. 805? Next door? Just like old times, neighbor. You promised you'd bring Mom home. I can take it. How long do we have? The front's still moving. At this rate, a month, tops. And the neighborhood. They'll have to start picking sides. Looks like some of them have a head start. No. It looks like you have a head start. You've got to stop the injection, Sam. The only help for so long. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't know what's gotten into him. Before I left, the first time, I made him a promise. He's been difficult since you and your mother left. I can see that. Was the promise about your mother? Yeah. Bulb always idolized her. You bringing her back was his last hope. Now, he's angry and lashing out. I just hope no one else gets caught up in the lashes. Next time on Evers After. These days, I'm in a whole new war. I fought on the lines for so long, sometimes I forget that bullets don't always come from across a battlefield. I hope I don't lose my heart on this scarred piece of dirt like I did on the last one. Heard you talk someone into selling you 806, Gurry. It's part of my job to keep an eye on the neighborhood half-cyborg. You move just to watch me, Gurry? I think you're getting a crush. It, this, is, this is my block. My responsibility. Responsibility? Expanding your vocabulary, Gurry. It's... it's not your war. I'm here making sure it stays that way. Gurry, it's too late to try something like this. Do you care about what's left of your neighborhood or not? Samantha, you left us. 
She came back different. But it's not right. What's not right is how your sister turned herself into a monster. More eggs on the siding? Didn't we clean this off this morning? I never thought I'd see the day American Lane turned on its own. Couldn't have. I don't think they even remember what their own is anymore. All they see now is the metal and wires. Like, they don't see the real me. I still do. I see you now, and I never want to stop. Evers. Next time on Evers After. I love the war, but it seems like it's not done with me. First, it took my squad. Now, it's trying to take my family. I say, I've lost enough. I won't let it take any more. I can't let you hurt them anymore, Sam. The front is too close. There's too much at stake. You're my brother. We're family. I'm doing it for Dad. You think you're a real good hero, huh? Why couldn't you have done us all a favor and died like one? Never was very good at dying, Gurry. That's a shame. A real shame, and you could have saved your father some real shame, too. That was a long time ago, Tef. We were just kids. This can be like it was before. It was never our fight anyway. Do you remember what we promised? It can still be like we wanted. A life. This is so simple. You couldn't follow a single rule. No wonder you lost the block. You leave my squad out of this, Gurry. They aren't here to defend themselves, but hex it I am. This isn't your war. And I'll have you running over the pickets the second you make a funny move. My home, my people, not yours. You make sure of that when you cross the line the first time. I won't stand by and watch you do it again. This heart doesn't make me a robot any more than Mom's gun makes you a soldier, Bulb. I didn't know. Because you weren't there. Sam, you've got to come quick. What is it? It's in the manhole, right under our feet. A big bomb. Big enough to wipe American Lane off the map. Don't think that means you're off the hexing hook, Bulb. Let's go. Next week, the riveting season finale to the smash hit of the year, Evers After. The stakes are high, and so is the star power with a special guest appearance by acclaimed actor and entrepreneur Blaine Tingles. In the war, our people were terrified of the trench grease, but those stupid clowns on the other side were loving it. Before the end, I loved it too. Loved it so much, I gave my heart. I made everything around me bleed, and now it's happening all over again. Always knew you had a good heart, Sam. Hurry, help me remove the core. It's stuck. Did, Did you, you just, just kiss, kiss me? me? I get it. I'm not the Lane's perfect soldier. Maybe I never was. Maybe I never could be. But look at what I am. A girl with a gun trying to shoot a little straighter. Ever, I taught you everything you know about the game called Tarantula. Pull too tight and you drop the ball. You know that? I think you dropped your mother's rifle a long time ago. Now the war is over and you're holding on tight to that memory. Maybe it's time to drop it. The war is in the path. The question is, who is ever after? Sam, you have to know, I, I never meant it to come to this. I just wanted my damn block back. They said if I didn't do this, we'd all die. You're afraid to die? After this, you will never be able to look in the mirror and see yourself alive. You killed everything that was left of the Gurry I knew. Sure, I changed my heart for metal, but you swapped yours for gold. Goodbye, Gurry. 
This is the way I live. My heart contains the only phantom reactor for miles. It's the only way, Tef. This bomb is too big. It will destroy your heart too. It's gonna be a tight fit putting my heart in here. Just like the game Tarantula. It's what I trained for. I am the best. Shells and flesh, I can save them. You can't do this, Samantha. I can't lose American Lane again. Haven't we both given up enough for their wars? I can't lose you again. Not after. I'm sorry, Tef. Step away from the bomb, Avas. Like Hex Gurry, I've got a big heart. You can't stop me, and you can't stop it. He's got your mom's gun. Tef, go. I'm fine. Do what you have to. And Sam, don't. I can't. Not now. <laughs> I love you. Our old house, 809 American Lane, will never feel like home again. I doubt anywhere will, but the places are never why you care. It isn't the buildings you fight for, it's who you remember there. A father. Put the gun back, Sema. A brother. Are you bringing mom back home, sis? A girl you liked. See you after boot camp. Even the ones you lost. Sama, I need you to be strong for your father. They're what I was protecting and the reason I came back. I didn't find what I'd hoped. Not on the front and not when I returned. I found memories, heartbreak, and regret. But I also found love and one last fight. So this is me, after I came home and fought a new war, after I was a soldier. Evers. After, 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 after.